How's it going everyone? This is Nick, bringing you some more Dark Souls 2 PvP. Today I'm rolling with my boy Spooner, getting that mundane build. Got an even 18 stats down the line, which brings my mundane attack up to a positive 158. This leaves me a lot of opportunities to use some underused weapons. The mundane broken thief sword, the Varingian sword, and now my personal favorite, that handmaiden's ladle. Now this guy decides to start off with a cast, so I go in and dodge it. No problem there. Do a little step back to see what's going on, and I go for that guard break. Punish him right away with that good 200 damage. Spoon's nothing to mess with. I see he's fat rolling, he's scared, he's backing up. The spoon has stricken the fear within him. So I give him another swing and see what's going on. He's still backpedaling. I press back a little bit here and notice that he pulls out the staff. So I cue my Lloyd's Talismans, I roll, look for that swing, and when he presses back, that's the perfect range. He's not healing today. I notice he's still playing real defensively with that shield, so I look for a swing, and then I break his guard. And the spoon claims its first victim. Usually when I get summoned in, I pan my camera 360 degrees just to see if someone might be waiting behind me. And I notice this guy is rocking the dual maces. They've got a high damage potential and the ability to stun lock really well. Guarding is not always effective, but rolling is your biggest key here. I do a bit of damage and I decide to roll back and use the height difference to pop him with the talisman. He aggroed that enemy. And I use that as my advantage. I put him in the corner and I wail away. Spoon got another one. Here I swap out that ladle for my Varingian sword for a more traditional setup. Now I notice this guy's trying to kite me here, so I give him that jump. I think I caught him a little bit off guard. I open him up with a few hits of the Varingian here, but he's still pressing. And he gets me with that stab. But I'm ready on that counter attack. The Ringian is a quick swinging sword. He opens me up with that stab for the good combo. But you can't let that pressure you. I take out my Broken Thief sword and stay aggressive, even with low HP. Now I see that the Broken Sword's not doing too much, so I fall back a little bit, pop out my Halberd, throw it in two hands, and give him that sprinting attack. A lot of people will expect this, but if you can pull it out, out of nowhere, it's gonna hit hard. I play a little mind game here, swapping through my weapons to make them think I'm done with the halberd, but then I pull it right back out, two-handed, and go for that overhead swing. I don't think he saw that one coming. Now this guy's been pressing toward me with his shield up the whole time, even though I'm not within attacking distance, so I decide to play with some poison on him. He stays defensive, so I throw a few fireballs and he stays defensive. I can tell he's kiting me at this point, so I decide to go around the other way, and I hear that firestorm go off. I wait it out, get that halberd ready, and then I go in. Now when you're in a situation where the enemy is rolling away from you and you've already initiated your forward roll, the halberd has a really punishing attack, which can be comboed. In this situation, I feel like I've damaged him enough to close it, so I two-hand it and I go for that strong attack. Now he interrupts me, and almost gets that poison off, but a simple back step will solve that. Here I spawn in to notice that this guy's already fighting some enemies, so I let him finish the job real quick. We walk out onto this bridge and we get it going. Now I notice he's playing defensively, but I don't want to go for the guard break right away. A missed guard break leaves you open. Now he's got some good hits on me and I decide this is the time. Break that guard and a quick swap to the halberd gives me that extra critical damage. With a spear through the face. When I see that someone I'm fighting against is rolling with a big slow swinging weapon, I like to try and bait some of their attacks so they can drain their stamina. That leaves me a great opportunity to get in with that Broken Thief Sword and do work.
I wasn't doing too much damage though, so I swapped the fireballs and see how he's going to react. The move sets are really projected on these bigger weapons, so you know when the swings are coming. That's why I'm not afraid to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with a person like this. Open him up with a few hits of the Varingian. And he's starting to fall back now. So I see if he might want a fireball. Throws some lightning my way, but that's also not too hard to dodge. And I punish it with a swing of my own. Pops that life gem. I predicted he was going to go for an Estus and tried to punish with a fire orb. Didn't quite work out. But I use a flame swap to pressure him now. And I run in. He pulls out that dagger in an attempt to bleed me. But with that low damage and that low bleed buildup, I'm just not intimidated. So I stay aggressive. Give him another taste of that swap and get him to roll away. He's hit with a bit of residual fire damage as I swing him once with the Varingian. He gets another life gem off, but this time I'm able to punish it a little bit more. I notice that he's falling back now though. I decide that it's time to close it, and I go for that strong attack, but I'm interrupted. We trade hits once more, and I have a feeling that he's going to go for that last swing, so I keep swinging. Here we've got another power stancer, so I get that broken thief sword out and ready for some good counterattacks. I wait for the opportune moment and I start swinging. Having a patient offense is really key when you're using the broken thief sword on a mundane build. You gotta wait for your times and go in when it's right. I see how low his health is, so here I'm getting ready to close it and pull out that halberd. It's got magic damage on it, so it does hit through shields. So I give him a little poke here to see what's going on. Not much. I two-hand it, backstep, and then I let it loose. Not many people know the range of this attack, and go in before it's fully finished. He's still trying to poke me away, and he falls down, so I give chase. He's throwing away all his stamina right there but I'm just not finishing with the Varindian. So back to the Halberd we go. One hit through the shield. Now things are pretty dire for him. I see him queue up that stabby stab, so I finish. Here I'm having a little bit of fun with that mundane Uchigatana. I give it some magic buff for that little bit of extra damage. Get that good backstab. And he's in a corner, so I wait for my timing, get that jump attack, and combo it. The Dragon Rider Halberd already has magic damage, so I like to add magic weapon to it to buff it and hit a little bit harder through shields. In this situation, where I can hit somebody who's used to shielding with their great shield, it works pretty well. I'm able to punish him on that cast good there, and then I follow through and hit with almost 200 damage through his shield. A good dodge and a punish, and he's looking low on health already. So I stay aggressive. Here I mistime my attack and eat that, but I roll forward because I predict the roll away and hit through his shield. The sprinting attack comes in and closes it. So I check the lower area, and I head up to the top floor, and I barely see his head in the corner there. What is this troll doing? And then I see that flash of lightning, and I get it. He's trying to range me out. So I toy with him a little bit, run around in circles, see if I can't make him waste a few arrows. And he finally decides to push me. So he presses me with that two-handed twin blade, and I decide to see what a fireball is going to do. Doesn't dodge the first one, but the next two are no problem. I give him a little taste of that swath because he arrow spammed me. But he starts stacking that poison. The twin blade user can stack poison on you extremely quickly, but I didn't want to back off just yet. I wanted to see if I could catch him in an opening and get him while he's being aggressive. One more combo though, and that poison is stacked on me. He gets a good roll away, and I am poisoned. 
Now, it is attrition against time. He instantly tries to range me with that bow, so I press hard with the Brindley and get a good combo in. He tries to roll away, but... Gravity OP. Now before I put this video to bed, I'll give you a quick preview of my next build that I'm featuring in my upcoming video. This here is my strength build and now I'm going to let this one play out. Thanks for watching everyone, this has been Nick, bringing you some of that Dark Souls 2 PvP.